Welcome to day four of the 100 day mindfulness challenge. My name is Miss Steer and today we're going to try exploring our senses in the present moment with some mindful eating. <laughs> hope you're getting on well with the challenges this week. So far we have tried some breathing in the present moment, we've tried sort of incorporating how we feel into that, we've had a go at noticing our bodies as we stand up and sit down and today we're going to build on that and start thinking about our senses, sight, sound, smell, touch, taste. Just a heads up, we are going to do some mindful eating in this session. I'm going to be using a grape for this and I definitely recommend a piece of fruit, whether it's a blueberry, a piece of banana, a slice of apple, an orange segment, and I'll let you know when we're going to use that in the video. So let's think back to that misty that was in the park, the one that was being really mindful and that was present. What kinds of senses might she have explored in the park? Number two, why might she miss these things? What might be going on for her to not notice the different sight, sights, sounds, smells, etc.? And number three, think to the last time that you were outside, whether that was the last time you actually went out for a walk or last time you were in the back garden or even when you're inside and you've got the window open. What kinds of things do you notice? What kinds of sights and sounds, for example, grab your attention? And what kinds of things do you miss? Is there anything that's coming up in the thinking here and the discussion that you think, oh, I never really noticed that? Just get curious. As always, I want you to pause the video for a few minutes and speak to somebody if there's someone nearby or have some thinking time or jot down some notes in a journal. Now, as always, there's no right or wrong answer here. And I think we're all very different in the things that we notice, the sights and sounds and smells that we kind of gravitate towards, as well as the things that we miss. And I think that's just kind of down to our, our personal character. The point here is just to get curious and become a little bit more aware of what kinds of things you do notice and what kinds of things you maybe are missing. Of course, we do tend to miss a lot of our senses when we're outside and when we're in other places, especially if we're going somewhere that we usually go and we're in a familiar environment. Because our brain is used to it, it doesn't really need to pay attention to it. So sometimes we will end up doing something like, for example, walking into the garden or walking down the street and because it's something that our brain's used to it doesn't really pay attention to it and we might miss the sounds of birds we might miss the smell of food coming from a neighbor's house we might miss the moment of sun on the back of our neck and those moments could be a really nice little mindful pause but we just need to kind of notice that we're not present and start to explore our senses. And that's really the key point today, that when we engage our senses, that can really help us to stay present. You know, especially if you're a beginner, I think, especially if you struggle to focus on something like your breath alone, then having more senses involved just give your brain a little bit more to grab hold of. So with that said, I want to try some mindful eating. So I'm going to give you some more pause time now and I want you to get whatever it is that we can practice some mindful eating with. So I've got my grape. I have cut this in half just so that I can see inside of it. Now normally a grape would be something that when I ask when I ask students in class, describe what it looks like to me, there's always somebody at first that says, it's a grape, it's, it's black, or it's green. And I think that kind of, that symbolises how we normally look at things, 
especially food that we're used to seeing and actually when you look a little bit closer as if you're almost seeing things in HD then you can see there's little markings on there, dints, there's lines on there. It's actually not all the same colour. It's not really a black, it's more like a, an aubergine purple. It's got hints of green in it. If I look at the other side and I can see in the light, there's a kind of sort of jellified middle centre of it. There's uh, lines around the outside, like little ridges. There's a really deep sort of purple colour right around the, the rim, but inside it really changes from light green to this really deep green. And it almost kind of reminds me of, of a super volcano. I'm not sure why, but it, it looks in texture like something that is out there in nature. So make sure that you're having a really good look at whatever it is that you're eating. Imagine you were going to be drawing that. And what, what kind of details would you see that you don't see when you normally look at that fruit? You can notice the way that this feels in your hand. Notice the firmness of it. So the grape is kind of bouncy. I can feel that it's it's not really rock solid, but it, it's got a little bit of a give in there. Don't forget to smell to really notice what kind of scents you pick up there, if there are any. And when you are ready then, once you have done this bit, you can start to chew. And I'm gonna talk you through this process. Bring that food to your mouth. Once that's in, notice how that feels on your tongue in terms of texture. As you chew, notice which teeth you are using. Notice what the taste is like. Is it sweet? Is it sour? Has the taste changed the more that you've chewed it? Has the texture changed? Once you are ready, you can swallow. But notice, is there an aftertaste? So, yeah. <laughs> you won't be surprised, I'm sure, to know that your challenge today is to try that out. You don't need to do a full meal like this. It would take forever. But I want you to decide on another bite of food, whether it's a, a bite of your dinner, a snack, another piece of fruit later, something that you can eat in slow motion and really get curious. What does it look like? How does the taste change? What does the texture feel like? Is there an aftertaste? You can always watch this clip back and just follow the same instructions. Eating's one of those things that we spend so long thinking about and sometimes looking forward to, but when we actually do it, we often pay very little attention. So this is a brilliant way to boost those attention muscles whilst giving yourself a nice little moment in the present with your senses and you get to eat something. As always, if you're a parent or a teacher who is looking to share with us what's going on with your children or students, then please just use the hashtag mindful100 or you can tweet me at Skills with Frills, same on Instagram and at Facebook, it's Skills with Frills Education. See you tomorrow.